Hey, thanks for joining me. Um, today I'm going to take a look at the physical hardware of the Star Labs laptop Mark IV. Uh, I recently took a look at the unboxing experience itself without actually opening up the lid of the laptop, which some of you commented on. So here is actually looking at the hardware. Um, I'm going to avoid looking at software for now, and uh, I'm going to avoid comparisons to other hardware for now, but enjoy this more in-depth look at the ports, the keyboard, and uh, trackpad especially the trackpad. Look at that. That is a very nice feeling little laptop. So let's see, all right. Let's, I guess let's check out ports first. So we've got USB type A, HDMI, USB type C, and then these look to be, I'm not sure, those look like little lights or microphones or something maybe, I'm not quite sure. Oh, and then this looks like a um, looks like a barrel power on that side. Nothing around the front. Um, there's a little lip for opening. It's hard to see. And then on this side we have looks like headphone. I'm not sure if that's a combo. I'm assuming it would be a combo jack, but at least a headphone jack, USB Type A, and uh, micro SD. It looks like, and nothing around the back. Just a hinge. On the bottom, we've got Designed by Star Labs in Central City, Assembled in China. Star Laptop Mark IV, and then serial number, don't look at that. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't uh, give anything away. And then we've got, let's open it up. So it looks like it's not one of those one finger openers. Um, well, it's, cl it's close. It opens pretty easily, it's just a little bit of pressure down here. And yeah, look at this, another little um, kind of like a microfiber cloth there, keeping the keyboard and the screen nice for shipping. Very cool. Probably works. Doubles as a screen cleaner or whatever. Very interesting. And here you go. So, uh, this actually looks remarkably similar at a glance to the Pinebook Pro, and I've got one I can pull out and look. Um, be curious to see how similar exactly. And you can see it does have a backlit keyboard. So... It's um, not the like most perfectly evenly lit, like there's a little bit more um, light coming around these buttons it looks like, but I'm also not in a super dark room. So there's in an actual dark room. Oh, this trackpad is extremely smooth to the touch. Holy cow, that is nice. And we've got set up here. So it seems like this is, um, Wow, that is smooth. Holy cow. It's um, the trackpad itself. It, it's just so, so smooth. And then with the, um, the lib handy swipe gestures here. Wow, that is butter. That alone, I think, would sell me on this laptop. That's incredible. Um, wow, yeah, that's good stuff. Oh, oh, and that's so smooth here, too. Yeah, that's nice. You can't see my fingers here. It's just really, really nice to, to have such a smooth trackpad. Wow. So, yeah, this, this trackpad, I don't know what it is. It's like the whatever drivers or firmware they've got going on, plus the actual physical surface is just incredibly smooth. The surface of this is like... It's so buttery. Like here's this, you know, the aluminum or whatever surface. And then here's the surface. I can't even make it make sound with my fingernails. Like it's, it's so smooth, like smoother than glass. Like I don't, <laughs> it's probably some sort of glass, but however it's treated, um, like it feels like the, the surface of like a, a smartphone or something. Like maybe it's got an oleophobic coating on it or something, but it's, it's so smooth. Um, yeah, I can't get over that. That's that's the uh, major killer feature of this computer right now in my book. And then it's uh, i3, it looks like they sent me, with 16 gigs of RAM. And the they have their 480 gig over-provisioned hard drive, which I'm really interested. It's an NVMe drive, but it's, it's over-provisioned, which means it's actually 500 or 512 gigs, I forget. Um, but then it has redundancy built in or something and it makes it faster, basically. 
and more reliable. Um, yeah, overall, this is um, this is nice. Seems nice and smooth. Trackpad's incredible. Keyboard feels. I'll have to get used to it and not wrapping around a camera here, but um, it feels nice. It's it's got a little got a little clicky to it, but not crazy. It's kind of in between like the Apple Butterfly keyboard and their newer slash older Magic keyboard. Um, it's kind of halfway in between there because it's it's really low travel, almost like the Butterfly, but it's got a little better travel than that. So yeah. Um, oh, yeah, let's look at the function function keys here. I'm curious about that, actually. So, okay, looking at the keyboard here, we've got the function keys, and it looks like, by default, you do hold down the function. Oh, whoops, that's, okay, so this is mute. Flying down, flying up. Um, but they do have a function lock, so if you just hit function lock, now they should believe, behave like, maybe... Oh, you just have to hit lock. Okay, so if you just hit lock, they're acting as F keys. Hit lock again, and now they're acting as function keys. Um, yeah, that's fine, that's interesting. So yeah, now they're acting as function keys. So does this just do it, this has a camera on it? I assume that's a screenshot, that's cool. I like that. Uh, what else do we have here? So trackpad. I'm assuming it enables or disables a trackpad. Yep. Okay, interesting. Got brightness. I missed a keyboard brightness. So that just looks like it's backlight on or off. Um, so you can leave it off if you want to save battery or whatever. And then if you're in a dark room, you can just hit that. Not too bad. And uh, then we've got our media buttons here. Back, forward, play, pause. Uh, I'm not sure what this one That looks almost like a multitasking. Let me pull up a second window of something here. I'm not sure what that's doing. Um, and then we've got volume, volume up, volume down, and mute. And power, which out of the box, I'm not sure if it turns off. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe suspended, which is fine because I wanted to look at the uh, the hardware itself now, closer at um, compared to size wise to other stuff. So, and it looks like this is um, looks like this might be painted on to the aluminum. That's gonna do it for today. Um, I'm gonna release a couple more videos of looking at other parts of the Star Labs laptop Mark IV and uh, maybe some comparisons to other hardware like Pinebook Pro, Slimbook Pro X, uh, maybe an old System76 that I've got laying around, and maybe some Dell hardware as well. So look forward to that, and I'll see you next time.